Hey traders, welcome back to Tiffany Trades Options. My name is Tiffany and I love to trade stock options. Today is November 24th, about 10.03 Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to try to make a short video today um, on Tiblio. I've made one video on this previously and I've mentioned it in the last couple of videos and I want to walk through some of the changes to their platform today and open a naked put using a Tiblio recommended trade. Just briefly though, I wanted to update you guys on what happened with the last trade that I had on in this account. The last video that I posted was on October 26th and that was a part two to a wheel strategy. In that video, I sold a covered call on Bank of America and I collected 87.85 in credit. It brought my overall credit collected on the trade to 236.70. Bank of America was previously assigned to me at the 25 strike and then it was called away again at the 25 strike. And so overall, I netted $226.63 on the Bank of America wheel trade. I have freed up my capital. I have deposited my monthly $250 deposit to continue building wealth in this account as well as growing buying power. And so now my total cash balance is $3,448.21. You recall I started this channel in March with a $500 account and I have since collected about $1,000 in credit, not too far off there. Um, so I say that's pretty good. You know, one of the things that I think is important about trading and, and wealth building is that you're continually making small deposits no matter what the value is so that you are adding more to your account, which gives you the ability to trade more often and sometimes in larger um, sizing positions. So. That's where we are in terms of cash balance. I am going to open a uh, another cash secured put today. Remember, this is a margin account, so my buying power is not going to reflect um, tying up the total equivalent of the capital required, but I am going to treat it as a cash secured put for purposes of this account so that I don't overextend myself or take on too much risk and somehow the trades turn against me and then I'm screwed. So back to Tiblio, they are continuing to make improvements to their platform. They have um, added these little uh, footnotes right here so you have a bit of a legend to understand what, you, what each of these columns mean. I'll go ahead and just leave it here for a second. If you wanna push pause, please feel free. And so since I have last, um, talked about Tiblio. I have put on a few more trades in my personal accounts. Um, I haven't done anything else in, in the uh, Tiffany Trades Options account since um, opening the last uh, Apple trade. Um, but so as I said before, they have credit spreads. So these are just the list of high probability credit spreads generally in the 70 plus percentage range. They have an equal amount of calls and puts and then this refreshes um, consistently. So you, if you see something here that you're not a super fan of and you want to see if there are other um, stock tickers to trade, you can just push refresh. Or, and this is also really helpful, you can download the whole list. And this is the whole list as of 9.16 GMT time. Um, you download the whole list. You can take a look at uh, the list. I personally add filters and we'll sort by symbol just so that I can see what's going on if there are symbols that I'm familiar with like Apple or Adobe. Um, and as you can see, this is pretty long. There are lots and lots and lots of recommendations this service is offering, which is amazing. You're not limited to trading in stock tickers that you're not familiar with. I highly recommend Tiblio as a service. Again, I am an affiliate. I have an affiliate link in the link below, so or in the description below. So if you sign up using my link, I will be um, provided a percentage of commission, but that does not mean that Tiblio is more expensive for you. Um, I personally am a big fan of this service, and I know others have signed up using my link and have said that they've enjoyed it. So going into the Naked Puts tab, this is a new, newish feature that they are offering um, to change it up from the put credit spreads. I know some people aren't super fans of put credit spreads. I personally love them. I, I, I love the defined risk and I love knowing how much of my capital is at, uh, potentially at risk in case the trade turns against me up front. But you also sort of know how much capital is 
at potentially at risk up front with a uh, naked put. Um, if you treat it as a cash secured put in your head, regardless of whether or not you have a cash or a margin account, you always know in advance the total amount of cash that could potentially be at risk. So I'm gonna download this whole list because I wanna see all of my ticker options that are available on Tiblio today. I'm going to filter and I'm going to sort by symbol. And as I had just mentioned, I only have $3,400 in cash in this account. So I'm going to also, also filter by stock price. So we want less than 34. So this is giving me all of the Tiblio recommended naked puts that are at a strike price of 34 or less. I'm going to quickly look through these tickers and see if anything is familiar to me. I generally try to trade in stocks that I have prior familiarity with. Some of these I don't know very well. So I was looking at uh, work, Slack technologies. It's all around the 27 strike. I'm going to examine December 24th at 2750. Looking at 27.50 on the E-Trade options chain, it looks like there is some open interest and there is some activity, so it is possible that I might get pretty decent fill around this midpoint. So let's kind of check that out. Before I do that, though, let's take a quick look at the chart. This is Slack over the last six months. It has had a lot of up and down activity, so there is a possibility that because it's currently oversold, it might end up below 27.50 at expiration again. Totally fine. Cash scared put, wheel strategy, rinse, repeat. So this current midpoint is 133. It's going to come up and down a couple of pennies. And on the Spreadsheet earlier this morning, it was around 118. So this is a little bit better for us to collect a little bit more credit. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is also very important to keep in mind. This expiration is December 24th, which is 30 days away. There is earnings that is expected to take place on December 9th. Let's just confirm that with E-Trade's understanding as well. Yep, okay, so December 9th. So this is a effectively going to be an earnings play. I, I sometimes put on earnings plays maybe 24 to 48 hours before actual earnings announcements. Uh, sometimes if I see that earnings is coming up, I won't open a trade. But again, this is for purposes of demonstration. And if this gets assigned to me, I'm totally fine with it. I'll turn around and I will sell a covered call. But the, the main point of this video is to walk through the Tiblio recommendations and just sort of emphasize that they are um, more often than not profitable and it just sort of takes the mind, the, the extra work and looking for a trade, sort of examining or investigating whether something's going to work or trying to understand the probability of profit. It just sort of takes a lot of that extra work out of your hands so that you can just continue to trade and trade more frequently. So let's see what happens. All right, midpoint back down to 125, so I'm just going to go to 120. Okay, so this just got filled at 120. The current mark obviously was higher, so it looks like I'm losing money, which that's not necessarily the case. Slack's trading at 29.55. The strike is 27.50, so as long as it stays above the strike price by expiration, I'm good. I am not going to let this trade hold until expiration, though, like I did for the Bank of America trade. I'm going to close this position when it gets to be in the 50 to 55 percent profit range so that I can have more occurrences. 30 days is a long time to wait. 
because I have already demonstrated a, what a wheel strategy is, I don't need to go over it again, um, but I'm just wanting to um, let you know what my plans are. I'm going to close this as soon as it gets profitable, and then I'm going to um, work on the next trade. And so now we're going to go back into the trade board. We're going to open a single. All right, so here is the new trade that I just opened, the naked put at the 27 strike. I collected a $120 in credit, less $1.15 in fees. I'm going to the trade journal, I'm going to log this. And there we have it. So that is a naked put using a Tiblio recommended trade. I highly recommend Tiblio, as I've said before, if you want to sign up, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you get to try it out for 30 days. And if you are not completely satisfied, then they will give you your money back, which I think is a great feature. It's very inexpensive. It's only $24.95 a month. You can cancel any time. You're not committed to any contracts. If you have any questions about Tiblio or my trades, please don't hesitate. I'm always available to answer questions about my trading strategy. Um, I will give you honest feedback about it, about Tiblio, about options trading in general. And that is it. So if you have any questions, obviously you know how to get a hold of me. Drop them in the comments below. Send me an email. Uh, send me a DM on Instagram. I hope that you all have a happy and safe Thanksgiving wherever you are. If you're in the U.S., of course, have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. If you're not in the U.S., have a happy and safe rest of your week, and I will talk to you all soon. Okay, bye.